Pour on or pour ons are not an active ingredient. They're a mode of administration. So if you were to tell me, get the cattle a pour on, that's like telling me, get the cattle an injection. But sure, I don't know if it was a mineral injection, you know, could have been a vaccination, anti-inflammatory, antibiotic, you know, it's, it's not good enough just to tell me you gave animals a pour on or you want to give them a pour on. At the moment, there are actually five active ingredients on the market that can be administered in a pour on form. There used to be a sixth. So the five that I was talking about, they're all in the one class, the clear wormer class. They're all kind of cousins of ivermectin. The six that used to be on the market, that as it stands, I suppose now in August 2020, is not on the market anymore. That's the Vamazol. That was actually in a different class. That's a yellow wormer. So because all the porons that are on the market at the moment are in the clear wormer class, we know from previous videos on the website that the clear wormers have kind of a special characteristic in that they're effective against both the external, so that's the lice, the mange mites, and the internal parasites that affect cattle. Internal ones obviously being lung worms, stomach worms, and um, gut worms. So when we give these clear wormers in their poron format, they have their most all-encompassing activity against external parasites. They'll kill more of external parasites than if we injected them. It doesn't matter which format you give them, if you're targeting the internals, so again, lung worm, stomach worm, gut worm, they'll both have as good a kill on the internal worms. So all of the porons currently on the market have persistent activity too. What does that mean? It means if I give the animal a pour on today, any worm or worm larvae inside that animal will be killed. But for a number of weeks following on from today, any larvae they pick up off pasture will also be killed. It won't get a chance to develop and proliferate. So that's a good point on the pour on. In terms of the length of persistency, it varies between the individual parasites. So lung worm, uh, it'll generally kill lung worm larvae for longer, that will kill gut worm larvae. But again, double check your pack if you're wondering about that. So when we're administering porons, it's as an even strip from between the front shoulders to between the hips, along the spine, okay? Avoid lesions that might be there from mange mites or abrasions to the skin. Uh, avoid putting on top of dung or muck on the coat. So put it just straight onto the animal's hair. 